Hey, what's going on? It's Cadillac Tracks. What's good? Today's quick tip is quick tip number 109. And um, I was just doing something here on my computer, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick tip video for everybody just to make sure everybody's familiar with this process also. Today's quick tip is about Omnisphere and organized and Omnisphere presets. Um, as you know, if you watch my channel, I've showed y'all how to organize presets where you can browse presets in the browser right here for certain VSTs. That way you can, if you're using my template, you can just use your will and you can go through presets. Also, if you don't have the template, you could just use your mouse or whatever and you could scroll through different presets for different VSTs over here and load them into your plugin. I haven't been able to do that with Omnisphere. It doesn't allow you to do that because of the type of files Omnisphere has. But um, if you just watch my videos, I already showed y'all how to do it for Dune, Electrax, Nexus, Serum, and Silent. Um, I wasn't able to do Massive. I wasn't able to do Omnisphere. And I think those were like the only two that I, I really used a lot that I wasn't able to do. But today's quick tip is about organizing Omnisphere presets. And it's just a real simple quick tip. Um, when I opened up my Omnisphere, I was just noticing that um, over time I've collected and I've bought a lot of... Um, Omnisphere packs and extra sounds for Omnisphere and um, if you go right here to user directories it opens up all the Omnisphere packs on my computer and what was happening was I had so many packs that they were coming over here to the side of the screen and I couldn't even see all the packs I had because there were so many here in this browser menu and if you look at this menu it's so big and um, it's just like this big menu of um, which one am I gonna pick you know so Today's quick tip is just about how to organize that. I took a little bit of time and I went on the internet and um, I was on the Omnisphere website and um, they were discussing right here where you can actually set it up any way you wanted to inside of your Windows browser. So all you got to do is go to this folder right here. This is the default folder for patches. It also has a default folder for multis. If I go into the patches, just like right here, inside of my patches I have a lot of these... Um, I have a lot of plug-in hugger, plug hugger packs that I have. And um, what I can do is I can actually make one parent folder and consolidate all of these into that one parent folder. And I've already done so for a couple of other ones. And what will happen once you do that is once you go into Omnisphere and you go down to your directories, it will actually just show the pack. And you can see like these ones where I have an abbreviation next to it actually has you know 16 packs and you can see them right there inside and you can still get the type and the tag so you can still browse by tags but it just goes ahead and it puts them all together and um, you know as you know you can have the all for all of them it'll have all the sounds for all of them right there or you can go in one by one you know like that so this is Cadillac tracks this is just a quick tip about organizing your Omnisphere presets so if you're like me you have a lot of presets you can go ahead and organize them into these small parent folders just a simple quick tips it's something I didn't know I could do and it's something that might help you and um, just save you a little bit of time with browsing Omnisphere alright until next time make sure you check out my channel for quick tips on how to use Fruity Loops and Machine today's was about Omnisphere because um, it's a plugin that we use a lot when we make beats and we're using Machine or Omnisphere or, or Fruity Loops so go ahead and check that out and also check out my custom MK3 template and uh, that's it, man. Subscribe if you haven't every day or every now and then now. I do quick tips on how to use machine and fruity loops, and this is just one I wanted to share with y'all. All right, see you.